we're finally getting ready to get on the road. Me and Adam are trying to get up to Ohio. Um, it's a Friday right now, and the season opens tomorrow on Saturday. And we've had a hell of a morning trying to get everything ready. Uh, we planned on taking the bus and had problems with getting it insured. We tried doing that last second, so of course that never worked. And uh, we're gonna hit the road and see if we can get up there and check some cameras. And we'll base off of which tree stands we're gonna hunt off of these camera pulls. So we'll get back to you in a little bit. <laughs> Mileage hunting rig. Oh yeah. Go ahead, lower. Good way we done that does. We'll never get that in there without spilling it. Fresh. As if this trip couldn't get any better since we can't drive the bus. A big truck just hit that cone over. Went right in front of us and we ran over it and got it lodged. So we've had a shitty start. I hope that that's a lot better. <laughs> got that good old two for six. Stuffed. Time to get out of here. Hit the woods. Get covered in ticks. Again. Again. Maybe some chiggers. A little poison sumac on the arms and elbows. <laughs> Give him a sack. Me and Adam, we just got here to uh, one of the spots that we hunt. We have a camera still up on this public, and we're gonna run out here real quick and uh, check it. And you know, if we get some big deer on here that have been consistently patterned we may hunt this tomorrow morning uh, we kind of have our mindset that we're gonna hunt the property that we got a bunch of big bucks on last time on top of an acorn ridge but we're gonna try this uh, this place right here only thing with it is is it's real thick and the crop fields are actually soybeans that are yellow right now and everything that's all information basically told us that deer just don't eat soybeans when they're yellow so we that's kind of what's hurting it but it is thick so we can check this camera and kind of let the camera tell us what we're gonna do so uh, I'll post the pictures of whatever deer we get on this camera too in the video so we'll go check it out ready to pack in probably gonna regret regret all this here in about an hour <sighs> got lucky nobody's here nobody's here in our spot so time to get this stuff and get up this hill
go ahead and check this camera. Wherever it's at. Oh, there it is. I'm going to check this camera and see what's been in here. You got this field right out there. We figured the deer would be coming from it this morning, but we didn't get nothing. So we're on this big acorn flat. And all we're going to do now is check this camera and see what's on it. And if there ain't no big bucks, then we'll have to change our game plan. Hey, go ahead and tell the crew what happened today. Well, Hayden dry hold us. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. Oh, I knew he would be lying on the camera. Okay, update. We made it about two hours down the interstate. My bus is broke there. <laughs> We're out in the middle of nowhere. We have called Thorough Truck and Repair Towing. Shout out to them. Coming out here at 9.30 at night. 24-7 so. service. Yeah, it may cost us two or three hundred dollars. Uh, pretty much. Got her back up and running. Settling up with the field now. We're gonna hit the road back again. Thanks to our good mechanic, he's got us back up and running. So we're gonna get on the road as soon as we can. And right now it's uh it's already about 12 o'clock. So by the time we get up here, it'll be about time to put our camouflage on and get in the woods. So we'll try to hurry up and get up there and get ready and get some tree stands hung. And hopefully we'll be close. All right, this is Christian. He's the one that saved us. Trip. Both sides, both sides of the right here. Shout out. Give 
Rock salad, baby. It's early. I'm walking new, new territory. Thick, big bucks. Lots of acres. Well, here we are. We finally made it up here. We're all tired. And there's boss. Yeah, we all rolling about two hours of sleep. If that what do you call it sleep, we call it yeah, two Close hours two hours of napping. Hunters in there dropping major douche off. So we get ready to get this mile journey started. Get back with y'all here in a little bit. just over there on a big flat and he's seen deer all over so as you can tell it's real windy so I'm gonna go scout a little bit deeper in this property and try to find some uh, real hot acorn trees and if we can uh, we may ambush one that's floating around eating we got enough wind cover so I'm gonna try to stay quiet and I got my bow and I have to walk at the camera so I'll try it. What happens when you got that lack of water? Oh, shit!
Thank mm -hmm. you. 